So here's the deal. There is no one best probiotic for acne. However, there are probiotics out there that can help to clear your skin. Now that might sound contradictory, but it's not. You just need to know what you're looking for and why. And that is exactly what we're going to cover in this video. So by the end of this video, you're going to know what type of probiotic to take for acne, how much to take and for how long, all backed by science. So a quick hello if you're new here. My name is Fiona. I'm a registered nutritionist with a master's degree in nutritional medicine. Medicine. On this channel we talk about nutritional skincare, which is the concept that the food that you eat can be an easy and transformative part of your skincare routine. Now I would usually ask you to hit the subscribe button, but today I'm going to ask that if you know anyone with acne who would find this helpful, please forward it on. This is the kind of information that I was desperate for when I was suffering from acne. So let's get into this. Why are we even talking about this? AKA, why should you care about probiotics? Modern research shows pretty see unequivocally at this point that your gut and your skin are connected. This connection is known as the gut-skin axis and a huge part of it is regulated by the bugs that you have in your gut. In case you don't know, you have three to five pounds worth of bacteria and other bugs living in your gut. They influence everything from your digestion to your hormones to your mood. Now with acne specifically, we know it's associated with an imbalanced gut microbiome or imbalanced gut bugs. So research shows that 54% of people with acne have some Something called gut dysbiosis which is just a fancy term to mean out of balance gut bugs and more specifically research also shows that people with acne are lacking in bifidobacteria and lactobacillus which are some of the key friendly bacteria found in the gut now sometimes this can show up as gut symptoms so another study looking at 13,000 adolescents showed that those with acne were also more likely to have things like constipation and bloating but sometimes it doesn't show up as gut symptoms and all you know is that you have really stuck acne. This is where probiotics come in. So the official definition of a probiotic is live microorganisms which when administered in an adequate amount confer a health benefit on the host. In more simple terms probiotics are friendly bacteria. When you take them they help to rebalance your gut which has a positive effect on your gut health and your skin health. So is there any evidence for this? The short answer is yes there is quite a lot of research on this already and more is coming out all the time. So so here's a selection of studies that have come out looking at using probiotics to treat acne in actual humans. This is just some of them, there are more. Interest in this topic is exploding and more research is coming out all the time. Okay, so how effective are probiotics for acne? Now I'm weirdly passionate about this because I've actually studied it. So I have written a systematic review on the use of probiotics for acne for a peer reviewed journal, which depending on when you're watching this will either be published or coming out soon. But here is what the research that showed. Oral probiotics can reduce total lesion count by 33 to 67% and they can reduce inflammatory lesion count by 31 to 70%. Now what that means is that by taking a probiotic you have the potential to reduce your acne by a third to two thirds. Now bear in mind that these were small studies but in case you're wondering that kind of magnitude of effect is directly comparable to standard acne treatments things like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, antibiotics and the oral contraceptive pill. And the best part is probiotics achieve these effects with little to no side effects. All of which suggests the right probiotic can be a really powerful tool if you have acne. Now I will come on to how we can use this research to determine the right type of probiotic to take for acne. But before I do that, I need you to understand one very important thing. Probiotic effects are strain specific. Now most people don't understand this. So if you can grasp this concept, you are going to be more informed than 99% of consumers out there, including unfortunately a lot of people who write about probiotics on the internet. Now stick with me because this can make all the difference between a probiotic working for you or not. So you may have noticed that bacteria have three parts to their name. For example, we have Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG and Lactobacillus rhamnosus HN001. The first part is the genus, the second part is the species, and the third part is the strain. The strain is what makes them individual. So although these two sound very similar, they're actually little individual snowflake bacteria and they are not interchangeable. An easy way to understand this is to think about dogs. So let's name some dogs in a bacterial style. We could have mammal dog husky, 
and mammal dog chihuahua. Now I know that's not taxonomically correct for all the taxonomists out there, but for the purposes of this explanation, we're just gonna roll with it. Now again, these look quite similar, but one of these dogs you would put to work pulling a sleigh and the other one you would happily carry around in a handbag and you wouldn't swap them over. Bacteria are the same. They all have their own strengths and advantages. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because most of the research out there investigates specific bacterial strains. So it's looking at individual bacteria and their effect on acne. Here is a non-exhaustive list of strains that have been found to have a positive effect on acne. As you can see, there are quite a few. And what's more, they all work in slightly different ways. So some seem to reduce sebum production. Others seem to influence the microbiome on your skin. Others reduce inflammation and others regulate hormones. And that's on top of the effect that they're having on your gut. So it makes sense that if you really want to help your acne, you need to take one or more of the strains that have been shown to help acne in clinical trials. Sounds easy, right? But herein lies our issue. Most of these bacterial strains aren't yet commercially available. What that means is that researchers are using these strains in clinical trials, but you can't yet go to your local drugstore or your local health food shop and buy these strains over the counter. And remember, bacteria are all little individuals, so you can't expect to achieve the same result if you don't employ the same guy for the job. That would be like picking a random dark head guy off the street and expecting him to play tennis like Federer just because he looks a little bit like him. So which probiotic should you choose? To get a probiotic that can actually help your acne, you have two choices. The first one is to choose a probiotic that blends several lactobacillus strains. So you know how I said I looked at all the research on using probiotics for acne. All the studies use different species and different strains, but a unifying feature is that they all use species and strains from the lactobacillus genus. Now this is significant for two reasons. Number one, lactobacillus bacteria are some of the main friendly bacteria in your gut. And number two, lactobacillus bacteria also tend to be low in acne patients. Now I know this flies in the face of the strange specificity that we just talked about. But it's for good reason. Based on what we know so far, I think taking a blend of lactobacillus strains gives you the best chance to find one that's actually going to help you. So flip over the supplement pot. Some brands will list the bacteria to species level and other will list them to strain level. Either way, you're looking for one that has several strains from the lactobacillus genus. Option number two is to take lactobacillus rhamnosus GG. Remember that list of probiotic strains that I showed you earlier? So this one, Lactobacillus rhamnosus sp1, is actually another name for Lactobacillus rhamnosus gg, just because they like to make it confusing for us. Now, Lactobacillus rhamnosus gg is actually the one probiotic strain on this list which is widely commercially available, and it's also one of the most researched strains in the world. You can buy it easily as an individual probiotic or in a blend with other bacterial strains. So which one is best? As we said at the start, there is no one best one, there is just one that's best for you. And you might need to do a little bit of experimentation. But a couple of tips. So if you have lots of digestive symptoms along with your acne, things like bloating and constipation, then perhaps start with a probiotic that blends lots of different lactobacillus strains. On the other hand, if you find your acne flares particularly after eating sugar or sugary foods, then start with lactobacillus rhamnosus GG. And that's because we know that particular strain modulates the hormones that connect sugar with acne. I'll pop some probiotic examples in the description box below, but remember this video is for educational purposes only and it's not personalized advice. Now, although probiotics are very safe, you should always check in with your doctor before starting any new supplements. What's an effective dose for acne? So with probiotics, we used to think the higher the dose, the better, but thinking on this is now actually changing. And most of the studies use between 10 and 30 billion colony forming units or CFUs, which is just the standard measure of bacteria. So 10 to 30 billion colony forming units daily would be about one to six capsules depending on the supplement brand you choose. And how long do they take to work? So most probiotic trials run for 12 weeks. So you need to choose a probiotic and stick with it for at least three months before you judge whether it's working for you. But remember, data shows that you can achieve up to a 70% reduction in your acne just by 
by taking a probiotic. And studies do also show that some people start to see a difference within a month or two. So it's worth sticking with it. If you are certain after three months or longer that that probiotic isn't working for you, then choose another one and start the three month process again. So to sum up, the research that we have so far, although it's based on small studies, shows that probiotics can help acne and that in some cases their effects can be comparable to some standard acne treatments. Based on what we know so far, you can choose a probiotic that blends either several lactobacillus strains or that contains lactobacillus rhamnosus GG specifically. You need to take about 10 to 30 billion CFUs daily and you need to stick with it for at least three months before judging if it's working for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And again, if you know someone who has acne and could benefit from this information, please pass it on. If you enjoyed this video, you might like another one I did on supplements for skin barrier repair, which I will link here for you. And I will see you next time for another video on nutritional skincare.